Today is a big day. We're going to harvest some sweet corn. This is Yellowstone, super sweet variety. Very, very tasty corn. I planted this back around May 13th. Uh, today is July 25th. And so it's got 75 days to maturity when you plant right in the middle of uh, your summer season. Really quick, it's actually been about 72 days, but I gotta work every single day this coming week. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off what I can today. The rest of it we'll leave on and kind of pick as we go. One of the things you wanna do when you are picking your corn is actually look at the silks. They're gonna be a nice brown to black, kind of crispy. They're gonna be kind of dried out. You're not gonna have any green or any of your original silk color on there. The other thing you want to do is peel back that corn just a little bit and take your thumbnail and kind of pinch into one of those kernels and you should get a nice milky color. If it's watery, it's not ready. If it goes from watery to milky to something else, you've waited too long. The other thing that you will notice is as these ears fill out, they're going to kind of, you're going to get some distance away from the stalk with the ones that are ready, but you can see this thing is kind of dried out, kind of brown to blackish almost. All right, so when you want to take one of these ears, all you're going to do is hold on to the stock, yank it down, and twist, and there we are. Good looking ear right there. You also, before you do it, you want to feel, kind of feel it up a little there. <laughs> You'll feel those kernels all plumped up. And another thing is, uh, in the uh, week prior to harvest, I like to, I'm going to give this corn at least two hours of water every day with the drip system. Uh, you can go up to four, and uh, it's really going to help it fill out really good. Another thing that I have been doing is about every five days, I come through with spinosad, and I spray these corn ears, the uh, silks. Seems to have really helped. Uh, I've had very little worm issues going on. Not to say that I won't find some, like uh, right there, but what it does is it kills those worms right, right from there. And when you find something like that, all you got to do, let me show you here, I'm going to pull this all the way down. That's where it killed them right there. So instead of eating up all your corn, it stops them dead in their tracks right at the top. All you're going to have to do is just kind of take that little deal right there, pop it off, and you got a fine ear of corn ready to go there. Oh yeah, look at that. That's ready. Mm -mm -mm. Now be sure and stay tuned because coming up, once we do this little harvest montage, I'm going to show you how we shuck it and get the silks off really quick. But I have got a, we've got a method for getting the corn off. If you've been using a knife to get your kernels off in order to process it, this is going to change your life. Right now, I'm going to go get me some corn. Well, what you're looking at there is one row of corn. I left the smaller stuff on so it can continue. I'll keep hitting it with the water so they can fill out. And I've started on row two now. I got about three more rows of corn to pull. And then we can commence to shucking and jiving. <laughs> Just a little note for uh, Travis over there at Lazy Dog Farm. In his corn picking videos, he talks about how he didn't like getting up in the morning. His daddy, Hoss, made him get up early in the morning. I think I understand why he did that. <laughs> We're in northwestern to northwest Arkansas, and we get all the um, Gulf moisture, but none of the benefits of the sea breezes. So that's probably why he did that. <laughs> okay. Whew, that's a lot of corn right there. I have still got a lot on the stalks out there as well. We're about three days away from that official maturity date, like I told you. I'm going to get this counted up. I'm going to separate this corn into big, fat, eaten and roasting ears, and then the narrower ones. Uh, we're going to do. We're going to mostly peel, but I want to pull. I'm going to keep uh, probably 40 or 50 of these off to the side, 
so that we can eat them throughout the week, give them away, do stuff like that. So let me get this stuff counted up and we'll check back in with you. I have got 224 ears off of the first picking. I've probably got half as much again that I left uh, that'll continue to grow out. Uh, these are the ones that we're going to process and peel, and then I've got some over here that we're actually going to be giving away. But uh, we've got some really nice ears here. Those are good eating and roasting ears, those big fat ones. All right, so we got us a trash can here. We're going to start shucking and jiving. You going to sing a Bee Gees song? Uh, not particularly. Jive talking. Yeah, well, actually, we're shucking. The things that's helpful once you get the silk stuff off is having a corn silk brush. It's very soft, but it's just right for taking that silk off. What we're going to do when we when we peel these things back is I'm going to put all this uh, manure, green manure, <laughs> not the brown stuff. We're going to put it in a bucket and you just break that end off like so and then put it right over the can here and you're just going to brush back and forth and, and roll it as you go. There you go. Another thing that I've done is I've got a whole bunch of these containers. I washed them out, but I put some uh, I put some parchment paper down in the bottom. And we're just gonna we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the silks off, and then we're gonna stack them up in here and uh, see see how long this takes. We're probably gonna be a good couple of hours. I'm not too awful worried about this right here because we're gonna be running it through our uh, our peeler for processing. So we're at least gonna get some kernels off of it. It must have been one of the lower ones we picked. That's one of the reasons some people will only pick the top ones first on the first picking. And that'll uh, allow some space and room for pollen to float down to the other ones. It has been so doggone hot. We're on the 21st consecutive day of days over 100 degrees. And so a lot of our pollen is uh, giving up the ghost now. Ah, oh, shucks. So all in all here, we got one... And almost a half a basket. Time to process them. I got me a drill and I've got one of these. You may have seen one of these at, I don't know, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond. You can buy this as a kit though and it comes with this. <laughs> Wait till you see this. Alright, easy enough. This is much easier than using the old uh, knife to slice it off, which you can do. You may want to wear gloves. We're going to get this thing on here and we're going to actually squeeze in really tight on this once we get it going and <laughs> yeah 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 i like it now the other thing is if you want to get the milk off of this for a creamier corn just kind of tilt it like that hit reverse and bring it back out when you get done with your ear just have you another bucket and you can drop your ears in you might want to wear gloves and put some Visqueen down before you do this. <laughs> what is all that? That's just easier than... Well, we had a little competition there and Lucas kept taking ears out of my basket. But I think he won on the right there. And it was so fast. That took us about about an hour. Oh, that's heavy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some of this uh, bit at a time into the old pot here. Just a little bit of water since we're going to be cooking it. We don't want it uh, sticking to the bottom of the pot there. So. And that'll work its way down in there, and it'll have something to cook in. Oh, that is so nice. Depending on your taste, you could throw a stick of butter in there. Sugar, <laughs> if you really wanted to sugar it up. This is super sweet, so got lots of sugar already in it uh, naturally. Um, but the next thing, I've got some quart bags here, and these are food sealer bags, got them uh, folded over so we don't get the nastiness on the area that we're actually going to seal. I'm going to ladle out here about three cups into this. There we go. I'm going about halfway up the bag or so. And we're going to get that down in there. And see, lock it down. Go to moist right here. 
is the fun part. Go, baby, go. sealed up. Now I'm going to test it real quick. With all this liquid we're going to find out whether or not the seal is good. And it is good. It would go running through if we had a had a breach in it. The one thing you do want to do though is you want to rinse off this part right here because it's kind of sticky and just kind of clean that off. All right so once you get that done you can just lay these over here. You want to kind of flatten them out. That way when you put them in the freezer they're going to stack better and you can get more of them in that way. When I get done, we will uh, we'll do a final tally and see how many we got today. The other thing you're going to want to do is put the date and what it is. Obviously, I think we can all figure out it's corn. <laughs> but we actually wound up with 12 of these quart bags. Uh, about three cups each in each bag and uh, not bad for the first picking. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, maybe the subscribe as well, and share it with uh, your friends and family. Uh, it's a great way to actually put corn up and you can lay it flat in the freezer and it'll keep all winter long. And uh, it's a good time to be doing that with everything going on in the world. Guys, thanks again for watching. And if you have any questions, post them down in the comments below and we will see you in the next video. Why is that one not hooked down there? It's not. I gotta figure out how to put that thing in there. What the heck? What? What? Oh. Just a little note for uh, Trav. <laughs> Got us a trash can here. We're gonna be uh, busy for here. We're gonna be busy for here? Yeah. I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> Fastest way to peel a peel. <laughs>